Hello and welcome to France 24's weekly music show with me, Marjorie Hash. Now, in this edition, I have the rare occasion to indulge my French and Scottish sides as my panel of guests stem from both countries. On the French side, we have Theo Lawrence, who emerged several years ago on the French soul rock circuit with his then band The Hearts. He's just released his new album, The Universe is Winding Down, which has taken him down a more country-tinted horizon. On the Scottish side, we have Edinburgh trio Young Fathers. They met as teenagers and have since released four albums filled with hip-hop, electronica, gospel and a sprinkle of punk. Their latest one, Heavy Heavy, is a joyful and uplifting cry for resistance. Thank you all for being with me on the France 24 studio. Now, first question, it's a bit of a you know far push or cry, but did you ever know about each other before meeting today on the set? No, 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 no. So bringing people together, it's yeah. quite a nice thing. Well, uh, Theo, we're going to start off with you. Now, your new album was recorded in Austin, Texas, and you've taken a more country retro uh, mm -hmm. theme to your music. Can you tell us a bit more about it? Yeah, it was recorded in Austin uh, in a little studio in the heart of the country and a little studio with a big sound run by a guy called Billy Horton, who's like the producer. So I went there with my whole band. We live in Bordeaux, France, in the southwest, and uh, we brought the whole, yeah, the whole crew there and recorded it for about 10 days, so it's like a mix of traditional country, I guess, and, and a little bit of uh, rock and roll and old school, like pop music, different stuff, but you could, you could qualify it as country, I guess. Mm -hmm. And what was it about the, this American genre in particular that, that attracts you, this tone? I've always been, I, I've always listened to that style, just uh, since I was like 12 or 13, I started playing guitar. I was always like playing country songs or rock and roll songs or stuff like that. And uh, it took me a while to find the people, the right people who could really play in that style. Mm -hmm. And so uh, now I got the right crew for that. So it was the, the first real opportunity I had to record like the kind of old school country album that I've always wanted to make. But it's, yeah, it's, it's hard to to do that kind of stuff, especially in France, because there's no like real scene for that, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So well, how about we check out uh, one of the videos for your track, uh, Liquor and Love. The sound may be American, but the video is very Parisian. All I know is I decided so long ago that I don't want to take it slow. Lawrence and Liquor and Love Bear. Now over to our other guests, Young Fathers, uh, Alyosha's Chaos and Graham. Um, Heavy Heavy has been described across the media as a very um, danceable, positive uh, vibe compared to your previous work. Did you uh, feel that way yourself when you went into the studio? I think, um, I think it's a continuation basically of all the stuff that we've done before. Um, I think we just honed in on um, on what we felt was the essence um, of what of of what we do, and you know, there's a lot of spontaneity in that, and it's also I think when you sort of apply apply that, um, we we discovered that there was a communal aspect going right through the record. So for me, I think the record is just steeped in humanity, and um, so uh, I think we sort of came from that approach in my mind anyway. Are you dancers anyway to start off with? Uh, Sometimes, <laughs> when the when the rhythm gets you, I suppose I, I think yeah, like what Ali was saying, it was all based on like um, honing in on what we've been working on for years, and a lot of that is to do with um, just trusting with your gut instinct and going with first takes and not doing the kind of classic. What's happened is just you know captured a, a moment in time, just like if we start if we started recording another album tomorrow. Mm. It'd be another moment in time and it would sound completely different. How about we check out the track uh, that I love, I saw?
and the track you can find on Young Father's new album, Heavy, Heavy. Uh, now your music is infused uh, with a lot of uh, different jars. Do you think it's important not to be put in a box and how hard is it not to be put in a box? I think it's, I think it's quite easy for us to not be put in a box. It's, mm. it's more so, I mean, we all have different uh, tastes and um, I think our, our reference points are all different as well, but I think we come together um, based on just trying to make something that we haven't heard before. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of like over the years, uh, like magpies, you're collecting all these ideas, you know, whether you, you're watching films, listening to music or whatever the, the inspiration mm -hmm. comes from. We, we encourage each other um, because we're all, we're all different people, um, but we, we celebrate those differences. And so when, when that's been put to the forefront, it's um it's exciting to see what Graham or KS will bring and mm -hmm. vice versa and what I bring to the table as well. And I think that's that's, that's, a, that's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. And Theo, do you get inspired as well by films mm -hmm. and movies you watch uh, and to make yes, your music? Yes, a lot. Yeah, movies especially. Mm -hmm. There's a song on the record called uh, Kichi and Bowie. And it's like, a, it's uh, drawn from a movie called uh, They Live by Night, mm -hmm. an old movie. So I, I really like to watch old movies and then try to write the song equivalent or like open a sorry like a book of old photographs or something like that and just mm -hmm. and just uh you know stare at it and try to uh write a song that comes from it or mm -hmm. so yeah reference points are really hard to like pinpoint um imagery as well because your eye kind of paints a, a perfect picture and you can start making your own connotations of what it means when you're looking at something visually um you know what Theo was saying about looking at pictures, I'm just remembering our recording process and we weren't listening to a lot of music at all. Mm. What was actually filtering through was um, just watching people move, like in little clips of videos and stuff, like unadulterated, just moving with like a complete sense of freedom within their soul. Mm. And that was the stuff that was like attracting me. It's like, all right, cool, what is this thing that's making someone feel like they don't have to, you know, dance in a routine that they can actually completely be themselves and let loose so those are the fascinating things that like we're picking up as, as well as like imageries from national geographic imageries and stuff like that from like communities that existed like in a different time yeah just looking at outsiders into different worlds that exist Mm -hmm. Talking of as artists, visual, visuals are really important, not just the ones you watch to get inspiration, but also your own visuals. Uh, I want to ask you about your album cover, uh, which mm -hmm. is quite uh, striking. Uh, Who would like to take on that? Mm -hmm. yeah. I think everything matters to us um, right across the board. Uh, the, the songs, the lyrics, um, how, how it all sounds, the artwork. Um, it, it needs to... It needs to um, embody the record, but also take it beyond, you know, um, and that goes with videos and things like that as well. So I think when you, you always want to have something that's iconic and something that's arresting. Mm -hmm. So, you, you know, you want to you wanna double take, you know, I think the, the you know, like, like the saying is, like the, the great art, you know, you go back a second time or a third time and you find something new that you didn't, you, you discover something new that um, you had in the first time. And I think that's, for me, that's the idea around these sort of, um, I mean, the, the artwork, mm -hmm. it just has to be, it has to be something solid that you just, it's undeniable and, and strong and people can just sort of stand behind it and be like, yeah, this mm -hmm. is what this is, you know, we're here. Yeah. And Theo, what about you? Um, do you feel your style has changed visually as well with the of evolution of your music? Um, yeah, I guess so. Like the covers are not really uh, that crazy, you know, it's like just a basic cover says a stereo recording that's that's what all matters mm -hmm. <laughs> the, so mm -hmm. i don't know it's like now we work with one guy who does all the covers so i guess it's it, we we've gained a sort of uh aesthetic yeah, yeah aesthetic yeah. that we didn't have in the past i was kind of like Searching for yourself. Searching for myself, exactly. Oh, that's good. Well, long may the searches and findings mm -hmm. continue. Uh, thank you, Young Fathers, Theo Lawrence, for being here on the France 24 show. Mm -hmm. uh, just a reminder of you, as you're currently on tour, so go see them because they're both amazing live acts to see. Uh, we're going to wrap up the show with a UK artist called Slow Tie. He's a rapper. I'll tell you a little bit more about him in a second. Just a quick reminder that you can follow Encore uh, on uh, social media. That's at 
uh, Encore F24. And of course, uh, France24.com for all the latest culture news. The latest news, Bolton, is just around the corner. And now back to Slota, whose new album is entitled Ugly. It's out this week. Ugly being an acronym for You Gotta Love Yourself. And uh, as he continues to explore himself and his relations to others, he also explores a punk bass heavy sound. He's Slow Tie's video for Selfish. Tears of a clown every time I cry. We're happy living life like someone died. It really brings you down, shedding nothing nice. Sitting in the dark trying to find a light. Life gives you lemons, keep your head up right. Sometimes I get jealous, wishing yours is mine. Even when you're fed up, stay your bread up high. Everything is nice, like cherry 